For those people that are utilizing VisionLink to view machine data from the field, this information can also be integrated with Business Center. So basically you can overlay VisionLink data against design. So what we can view here is we have some compaction data from CCS 900 that's gone into VisionLink. That's then been overlaid in Business Center. So I can highlight compaction soft spots in blue if there's any areas that may have been overrolled, they might appear in red or they're just a lot harder than other areas. In green we can see where we conform to specification. So we can see where we may have more work to do to roll areas in blue or maybe have to remove material because it may not be up to standard. Uh, from this you could generate detailed volumetric reports. Uh, to calculate what's the volume of material that's currently been laid and over how long has that taken to happen. Also very useful for calculating progress volumes day to day or week to week to maintain cash flow because you do have a record that you have actually achieved some work on a job site. Now looking at a different project, this comes from an excavator that has been digging a spillway. In the plan view we can see everywhere the excavator has tracked which is not always within our design boundary. In the 3D view you can clearly see where the excavator has been swigging and excavating. In our section view we have cut a slice through the model so we can see how our as built from the machine compares to design. Off to the sides we're not really so bothered as we're really only digging down the major part of the spillway. Uh, from this we could determine as a job is progressing what's the time needed to complete a project, are we then working to schedule, report that volumetric information into Tylos and see if that is on schedule, and a plot plan and cross section views showing compliance to design specifications as we have seen in the other videos. And thank you, that concludes the VisionLink integration.